Games like this are always dangerous. The Canes are good in their own right. Top three in their division, number two to be exact. But we're trying to keep pace with the Panthers. And knowing that game is up next, you don't want to come out flat against a potential playoff opponent. And Carolina struck early. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Slavin with his sixth of the season. Like we just had a rush. Don't score. And they come right up the ice and score very, very quickly. Team caught out of position. Trying to go ham and get that first goal. But the Canes strike first. one nothing Carolina. How will Buffalo respond? Because normally, of late, we've been scoring first. Well, we'd respond pretty good. Nice pass there. Not a lot of room to work with. But Mr. Quinn, number 17 on the year. So Jack continues to play well in the second half of the season. And we even up the score. See, so almost works as a, kind of a screen a little bit. Messing up his vision just a little bit. But the goal goes in. We're happy. So 1-1 one, one to start the second. Skinner. Not a lot of room to work with there either. That passes a split second later. He's crashing into the goalie pre-shot or during the shot. And that's interference. So that's a goal for Skinner. And we get our first lead of the game. Skinner leading the team in goals scored. No surprise there. So we've got the lead. Midway through the second. This time Bryson says, you know what? I'll keep it myself. Goal number three for the Sabres. His fifth of the season. Bryson has been very productive for us. Not just with his shooting of late, but his playmaking, the assists. You see, almost using his own guy as a screener. Defenseman in the way. Anderson takes a little bit longer to get to seeing the puck there. We'll take it. 3-1. Later in the second, Victor Olofsson. I actually thought that might have been interference or potentially a redirect because he's right there. But hey, maybe the goaltender thought it was his own guy. I don't know. Vic's 16th of the season in Buffalo. Enforcing their will in this one. We did not come out flat. And you know what? That's exactly what you wanted to see anyway. You want to see your guys play super hard in a game that still does matter. Because, sure, two points against the Panthers is huge. But what good is it if you lose the game prior? So, Buffalo. Rolling in this one. Up 5-1 at this point. Slavin. That would have been a trip, but didn't matter yet. That fan celebrating. I don't know what he's celebrating for. It's a 5 2 game, but okay. Back up second of the season. Or second of the game, sorry. And you see, this wound up. Lukanen's slow to react. Understandably so. See, from his point of view, that shot came really fast. So 5 2. With three minutes to go. Uh-oh, Jarvis with a goal. Are we going to blow another four-goal lead and make this interesting? A little nervous there. Seth's 12th of the season. Three minutes is a long time. As we know, the easy goal there, Lucan in trying to stop the short side, and he just says, you know what? I'll wait and go long. But good news for the Sabres. That would be it. Defensively, we lock down. We hold on to win this one 5-3. to three. So only one penalty in this game. Carolina with a power play to end the first. They don't score. We'll take that. In terms of some of the team stats. Second period really big for us. That's really where the game was won. We outscored them 3 to nothing, And then play solid defense for most of the other 40 minutes. Shots. Outshot by 3. But as you can imagine, if you have a 4 goal lead. You're not really trying to be super aggressive. You're just being patient and just making sure that you get back and don't get caught out of position. Face-offs. We actually won a game with face-offs? Wow. Okay, we'll take that too. Points. Slavin with three points. Two goals and an assist. You've got two players there with two assists for the Canes. Four at the Sabres. Bryson, again, stepping up big. Two points, a goal and an assist. 
Joseph and Darlene both with two assists. Love to see that. Jorgensen's had our other goal in this game. Anderson stopped 22 of 27. Not necessarily his best game. And Lukanen, one of his better ones, 90%, 27 of 30. Mason Brewley, critical saves early in the second period after we went up 2-1. So some bad news. Bryson does get injured, but the good news, Eric Johnson returns. So him and Darlene will be paired together on line one, or pairing one. And boy, oh boy, we're tied at 78 points. Same amount of games played. The winner of this game, outright first in the Atlantic.